Welcome back to your very feel-good, spring-inspired edition of Espresso. Great to be back in the Cape. I know one particular group of species that is very happy about the shift in season is this guy's very beautiful, majestic-looking species, snakes. Now, we, we know when we've got Francois von Sale, South African snake man in studio, we are going to be learning a lot, and I've come prepared. Um, spring brings out some very interesting new little visitors, not least of which are these incredibly beautiful snakes. Um, why does the activity kick in? For those of us who aren't in the know, why do snakes come out in the change of season? Yeah, well, so we've had a very long cold spell, and obviously snakes are endothermic animals, so they regulate the temperatures with the external temperatures. So as soon as it starts warming up, they start moving. So we are warm continually, and they're cold if it's cold outside. So with the rising temperatures, Snakes start moving, they start hunting, and they actually start mating in springtime. Easy, easy yeah. fella. Eh? <laughs> okay, listen to him. Yeah, you can feel the cold to the touch. This actually feels completely unique. You couldn't actually paint a better, um, I think, a better covering. Yo, take us through these three guests of honor that we've got, starting with that beautiful little eggy in your hands. Okay, there. right. So this little guy is an egg eater. It's a harmless snake that we find very commonly all around South Africa. And I brought it along because over here we've got a puff adder, okay? And you can see there's a very big resemblance in color yeah. between these two. Clever. Okay. Well done, so these snakes eater. actually mimic venomous snakes to protect themselves, okay? And the puff adder I also brought along because it's probably the most common snake that you'll find right through South Africa mm. this time of year. Okay, it's a very widespread snake, and it's responsible for about 80% of snake bites in the region. I was, you know, you, you get a clear indication of how snakes operate. Looking at how aggressive that little eggy is, how it puffs itself yeah. up, makes noises with its scales, compared to the puff adder that quite simply knows it's safe there. Yeah. That is the danger with puff adders. They don't make a noise, they don't come out and hiss. They basically <laughs> do exactly that until they stepped on it. For sure, yeah. They're like a speed trap. Um, and this, the star of the show here. Yeah, the Burmese python. Okay, so his name's Smiley. It's just a. Uh, you said you didn't name the snake. Oh, he's a special one. Oh, <laughs> hello, Smiley. If I'd known your name was Smiley, I wouldn't have been half as scared. Um, absolutely beautiful. Where do you find these in okay, South these, Africa? These guys are, are actually from India, Asia. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they're actually a very good species of snake that's kept popularly in the pet trade. Okay. So we have them because we do a lot of educational work, and these are very good snakes. They like the Labradors of the snake yeah. world, basically. Oh. And so that's why we have it. So we go to schools and all over the place, and we show people the snakes, talk about the snakes, and then kids can touch it, interact with it, and have their photo taken with the snakes. So okay, let, let's talk shop, because this is beautiful, and, and clearly the snake, while it appears to be comfortable with humans, snakes don't take on that kind of behavior. They'll no. never be comfortable. You've always got to be vigilant. Uh -huh. Go through the poisonous snakes that are coming out in South Africa during this time of year. What do we need to be aware of in what parts of the country? Okay, so pretty much all over South Africa, you can expect to see a lot of puff adders around. Okay, um, up country, you'll probably find black mambas and green mambas, and Ooh. down here in the Cape, we could find Cape cobras a lot. Um, okay. It's very specific with areas. For example, I used to stay in Franschhoek, and over there in summertime, we caught a lot of Cape cobras. Wow, okay. And I've been actively um, involved in snakes in Pringle Bay, and over there, I've found four Cape cobras in a period of 12 years. So it's very specific to every region. So if you do want to know what specific snakes occur in your region, get yourself a good field guide, study those snakes and then know what to look for. Study the venomous snakes because there's such a small percentage of snakes that are really dangerous. It's something mm. like 10% of the total amount of snakes that we find in South Africa that are dangerous wow. to man. So there's so many snakes like this that are misunderstood and people think they're deadly and then they get killed, Okay, and of course, we've got a couple of major heavy hitters like the puff sure. One last yeah. quick note, what should we do if we encounter a snake that we think is poisonous or otherwise, what should our first action be? Okay, the first thing to do when you encounter a snake is leave it alone, okay? <laughs> Don't even try and kill Don't it. Don't do this. <laughs> you know, a lot of people try and kill snakes and they actually get bitten in the process because yeah. they get too close. So the best thing to do is keep your children and your pets away from the animal and if you have a number for a local snake catcher, give that guy a call, keep your eye on the snake, and sort of just guide the guy when he arrives at your place as to where the snake might be in your property. All right, well, Francois, we'll have all of your details on our website. If you cool. encounter one of these beautiful slithering friends, make sure that you call a pro, don't handle it yourself, stay safe out there. But maybe a good idea to introduce one of your young'uns to one of these beautiful things in a great educational session. Francois, thank you so much, my man. Thank you. Um, I think I'm gonna hang on to Smiley for the rest of the show. We're gonna take a very quick break. Um, or rather, we're going to take a look at our breaking news. Then I'm going to see if I can scare Kat a little bit more with this guy. 